Hey guys, it's Russell back on today's video. I'm going to show you what's inside of a Mercedes diesel oil filter. Uh, you may think this is kind of strange looking. This filter is what would typically go on a 77 to 85 a 300D, a 240D, 300TD, 300SD, either any of the 616 or 617 engines. Now this is what's called a cartridge style filter. You may be used to spin on filters, but this is um, a canister cartridge type filter. Now this filter is extremely large. It's got a lot of filter medium to it. The entire um, assembly here is probably a good, I don't know, eight or ten inches. Yeah, it's about eight inches. Um, this filter has about 3,000 miles on it, and I wanted to cut it open and let you see what's in it. The construction is, is a pretty well thought out piece of uh, filtration equipment. It's got a bale here that allows you to lift it up out of the canister so you don't have to go uh, trying to pry it out with a screwdriver. There are some, uh, get me a screwdriver here. There is a O-ring, a large O-ring gasket here. And the shaft that's got the cover on it is what goes through here. And we're just gonna just butcher this up. Okay, it comes out like that. Uh, and there's also one on the bottom. It's a larger one. This seals against the inside of the canister. Okay. Um, now, what's interesting is if you can see inside there, there is, it's almost, uh, it's like a two-stage, two-part filter. I've never cut one of these open before. Um, my normal filter cutter, I don't think, is going to have any effect on this. I don't know if we can maybe do the top of it. I'll give it a shot. I don't think it's going to work, but this is the Long Acre um, filter cutter that I use to cut over in the can style filters. Oh. Well, I don't think this is going to work. I'm willing to try it though. Yeah, it's just it's just going to crush. It's not going to work. All right, so let's go to some uh, wire cutters, and I'll just see if I can just butcher this open. This is not going to be pretty but it'll allow us to see the construction inside here. There's a epoxy type glue that's sealing the bottom portion. Okay, that's what I wanted to do. So this is a two-piece design. And the bottom portion is more of your traditional, this is a pleated type material. It's a pleated cardboard with a epoxied uh, end cap. There's also a metal 
serrated uh, portion on the inside of the of the tube there. These these filters are very strong. Uh, it's got a like a hard plastic epoxy uh, portion here. So this whole thing is um, on the bottom is a pleated, like I said, pleated uh, like pleated paper. So pretty pretty good tight pleats. So there's a lot of surface area here, and it's around a like I said a metal core here. Um, but what's interesting is the top portion, and this is made of a like a uh, fleece it's like a cotton fleece material it's extremely dense and it's uh, it's very I don't know if this is I, I don't think this is um, synthetic I'm not sure but it's uh, it's very very effective in um, filtering the oil so this whole, let me see if I can pull this out. All right, so you've got the tube there. This is a metal tube. And yeah, this is just a very, very densely packed, um, I'm gonna say it's like a cotton material. I don't, know exactly what it is but that's what it appears to be now I would think probably this is maybe cotton remnants because I am seeing pieces of um, what look like stems like you would find in a, maybe a cotton plant. So I'm I'm thinking, I'm this is just me speculating, but from what it looks like, I'm thinking that this is um, cotton remnants, maybe from the textile industry. Okay, and I don't know if you can see, but there are what look like pieces of a. Uh, yeah, pieces of uh, twigs. Now, before you go and freak out, they have been using these filters, this style, for, well, since these cars came out. And if you know anything about these Mercedes, uh, you know that the... With these, this is an OEM filter. These filters will go and just regular oil, and not even synthetic oil, just regular oil. If you change it regularly with these this type of filtration, this these will go four, five, six, seven hundred thousand miles with little or no wear on the engine. So don't don't start freaking out and saying, oh, you, you know, that's they're using this and that. Well, yes, they are, but it's very effective. Okay, uh, these cars have been out since. Well, I, these filters probably date back to the, who knows how long, but I can tell you without a shadow of a doubt that you do want to use these factory style filters. And, you know, maybe there's an aftermarket filter that's, I don't know, maybe some of the other filters may have a synthetic medium, and that's fine, but this is just probably just some type of cellulose. And it's, the, the point is, it's extremely dense and it filters very well. And this stuff does not get in your oil, okay? That's part of what this, um, this metal cap is for. It, it just doesn't, it doesn't get in the oil. So, but this, uh, I have heard about this before. And this is the first time I've cut it open. And yeah, these are, these are definitely some type of twig or stem or something. And like I said, I'm, I'm assuming maybe this is, remnants from uh from cotton but 
that's what it is. It works. So anyway, I hope this was uh, interesting for you guys. Um, I would probably say that, and I have heard that this filter is technically uh, a dual filter. It's got a full flow filter and then the bypass part of it. So I don't know uh, which, you know, how true that is, but I will say that uh, they work. It's very effective. Now there does seem to be some type of a mesh on this center core tube. That's um, yeah, it's like a it's like a really fine mesh, and that of course helps to keep the stuff that's in here out. So it works. It's a proven design. It's very effective and. Uh, these are good filters. So I hope this was uh, interesting for you guys. And I hope you learned something. And next time you uh, see one of these filters, you can uh, tell your buddies that you know what's in it. And that there's probably cotton scraps and cotton remnants in there. So I will talk to you guys on the next video.